Okay, so first of all, I have a figure here in Excel, and I want to add two shaded regions to this figure. I want to add one going across the middle here from 355 to 375, and I also want to add one going vertically here from 4.2 to 9.4, and I'm going to show four different methods of doing this. So the first thing I need to do is to sort out my data. So I'm going to copy these two numbers and paste them. Then I'm going to do equals this value minus this value and enter. And I'm going to click and drag that. Then I'm going to call this the minimum and this the maximum. And the reason why I am doing this will become clear in a moment. Now I want the bar to go all of the way across the figure, so I need for it to be going from 0 to 90. So I'm going to type in 0 and 90 here. Now I'm going to select data and I'm going to add in two series of data. I'm going to add in a minimum with these as my x values and these as my y values. Then I'm going to add in the maximum with these as my x values again, and this time with these as my y values. Now you can see here, I have two dots on either side of the screen at 355. That is the minimum series, and you can't see the maximum on the screen because the figure only goes to 350. But the next step is to press Control 1, and then I'm going to select series minimum, and I'm going to change this to the secondary axes, and I need to do the same thing for the maximum as well. And now I have a secondary axis, and I now have the two green dots showing the minimum value. Now I need to right click on here and change chart type. And I'm going to change both the minimum and the maximum to a stacked column chart. And I'm going to do the same here and then OK. And now I need to edit the axes. So they match the axes on the other side. So I need to change this to 250 and this to 500. Now I have the blue bar that goes up to 355 and then the green bar which has a value of 20 but is stacked on top of the blue bar so it goes from 355 to 375. Now I obviously don't want to be able to see the blue bar, so I'm going to change this to no fill so that it becomes invisible. Then I'm just going to change the colour on here to make it grey, which is the colour that I want it to be. And now I need to remove the gap width so it goes all of the way across the screen. And there's no gaps in between. And now I have my grey shaded region. The last thing I need to do for this is just to get rid of the secondary axes. I'm going to make it so you can't see the tick marks and also that you can't see the labels. And finally, I'm going to change this to a black line so it matches everything else. Okay, and that is the first method. The second method I'm now going to set up the data for, so I'm going to copy these values again and paste them, and this time I want a vertical bar going along here, so I want it to go from 250 to 500, and I'm also going to add in another column here, which I'm going to call, which is going to be the average of these two values. And I'm going to call this the minimum 2, and this the maximum 2, and then this is the average. Now I need to add three series of data into here. So I'm going to add in minimum 2, and it's going to go 
this time the x values are going to be these values and the y values are going to be these values and OK. Then I'm going to add in the maximum 2 and these will be the x values and these the y values and OK. And finally I'm going to add in the average and these will be the x values and these the y values and OK and OK again. And now you can see I have three dots on the top and three along the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is to change chart type and I'm going to change the three series I just added to scatter with smooth lines and OK. And now I have three lines. I'm going to change the color for these lines. So I'm just going to select this and change it to gray. And I'm going to do the same thing for the maximum. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the average. And this time I'm going to increase the transparency to 50%. Now I'm going to increase the width of this line quite substantially. And I'm just going to keep increasing it until I get rid of the white gaps between the maximum and the minimum. And I fill up the whole range. Okay, I think that looks about right. Now I can go back to the minimum value and also change this to 50% and go to the maximum value and change this to 50%. And now I just have a grey shaded bar. And this is the second method for doing this. It, is, it can be fiddly sometimes and you just need to remember that if you change the size of the figure the line width isn't going to be able to adjust so you need to keep that in mind. Now for the third method I'm just going to go to insert and insert shapes and a rectangle and I'm just going to draw a rectangle and then I need to remove the outline from here and also change it to grey, which for some reason wants to be green. Now if I do control 1 on this, I can change the transparency to 50%. And this is another way of doing this. However, I don't particularly like this method because if I move this over the top of the data points, it goes over the data points and it makes them look a different colour and I don't think that looks very good. Now for the final method of doing this, I'm just going to delete the average values and I'm going to copy this figure and I'm going to put it into paint. And I will just crop that. And now I will go to fill and gray and I'm just going to fill in these gaps. Now, I don't particularly like this method either because I don't think it produces a very high quality image. Uh, you may not be able to see it on the screen, but around the edge of each of my data points is now a bunch of white pixels. But that is four different methods for creating a shaded region in a chart in Excel. Okay, and that is it.